Hello everyone, I am Soulfire, and today I'm going to be showing you just how to move your blueprints from the Microsoft edition of Trailmakers over to the Steam edition, and vice versa. So make sure to stay tuned for the video, and I'll show you just how to get that done. So first off, what you're going to want to do is have file two windows of File Explorer open. One window, here we go, one window needs to have your blueprints from the Steam Edition. Now you can get to this location two ways. You can go to Documents, Trail Makers, Blueprints. And now it's all here. Or you can go into the game and click Browse Files and it automatically opens up a window with these files. Next, you're going to want another window, so right click this and click File Explorer. Now, in this window, which you're going to, you're going to want to offset these windows. In this window, you have to open up your Microsoft Blueprints. Now, that's going to be a little bit harder. You have to go into the OS, or the C drive, and click Windows. Yeah, Windows, oops, my mistake. Not Windows. Users. <laughs> C drive, Users, uh, and whatever your username is here. Mine says Solf. I don't know what yours will say, but click that. Then you'll see something similar-ish to this. You're going to search trail makers. And you'll see all these different trail makers things. Like I've got recordings of stuff, decal pack, rescue pack, high seas expansion. You don't want any of that. You want this one. That's flashbulb.trailmakers and then this random sequence of characters. This is the base game. So you want to open the base game, go to system app data, WGS, and this. Now, one of these folders contains your Microsoft Blueprints. So, to know which one is the correct one, you need to go to your Microsoft Edition of Trailmakers and save just anything. Save this Blueprint, and it says Blueprint 122. So I know that I have exactly 122 Blueprints. Now make sure to save this because this is gonna be useful later. But now that we know how many Blueprints we have, we need to dig through these files, or files, through these folders until we find the right one. So this has 123 items. I do control A, 123 selected. Now these containers are not blueprints. These are just files doing their own thing. So I have one container, that's 123 items. If I take out that container, it's 122. So this must be my folder with the blueprints. Now there are two ways to streamline this process. One is optional, but I would recommend it. Click uh, sort and date modified. Select this and click on descending. That way your newest builds will be at the top, like your most recently edited builds will be at the top. So this build that I just barely saved is going to be this build right here. Because in File Explorer, these are not organized the same way that they are here. They're not in the same order. They're very random and jumbled. So you're definitely going to want that so that you don't have to look through them all to find the right one. Now the second is mandatory. You have to go to view and uh, or not, yeah, show, view, show, file name extensions. You want this on. Well, I'd say you want. You have to have this on for this process to go smoothly. So make sure to click this and now you'll see at the end of files, I have .png because this is a PNG image, so it says .png. These are just files because Windows didn't know what to do. So if you want to move a file from Xbox to Steam, you need to take the blueprint and it can be any blueprint for this example, but we'll just go with the C. Right click it and copy. Now go over to this window and paste. Now you'll see it's here as a file, but I can't yet use it. So you have to right click it and tap rename and then just add .png at the end. Then do that and give it a second to buffer. And you'll see now it shows this seat. So if I go to my Steam edition, here is that same seat. See the structure game version mismatch? It knows it came from another version, but everything should copy the same way, keybinds, uh, the title and description I don't think will, but all the keybinds will at the very least. So that's how you move them from Xbox to Steam. That is 
pretty freaking straightforward. Now, what's not straightforward is doing it the other way. So to do this the other way, you need to have a saved build right here. And you need to open up your uh, blueprints. Now make sure the saved build for this is a junk build, not something you want to use later. Uh, cancel, fiddle. There we go, now it's gone. So take whatever blueprint you want to move from Steam to Xbox and right click, or not Steam to Xbox, but Steam to Microsoft. Right click it and copy the file. Now go in here and paste the file. Now you'll see it's in here, but we can't use it yet because it's still a file. Now we can't just add .file because then it becomes a file file. And for those of you that don't know what I mean by that, if I delete .png and add .file, now it's a file file, which is not helpful. I still can't use that. So let's just uh, quickly undo that. So what you want to do is take your junk uh, junk folder, not junk folder, junk save, and copy the name of it. So copy the name of it, then delete it. Now, go to your blueprint and rename it. Make sure to highlight everything and get rid of .png. Rename it to be that same name. And then just click yes when it shows up. Now, if I refresh, that build that I just copied over, the target will now be in here. So we have to give this a second to change over because the file name in File Explorer is still the same. So the game does not recognize anything as being changed. So we just need to give it a minute. Okay, here we are, we're back in Builder and you'll see that now it has the right picture but it still says zero power cores. If we drag it out, it's just the seat. So what we have to do, right click it and upload it. Now, you don't really have to add anything to this. If you really want to, you can, but just submit. There you go. And then go to gallery and open the gallery and click my uploads right here. Now in my uploads, uh, you might just have one or you might have a lot like I do, but you'll have to scroll through and here they are. I actually did this twice, but take it and toggle subscribe. And now, when you go to your uh, subscribed folder, or downloads from the gallery, it'll be in here. So pull it out, now save it. So now this doesn't do anything. But now you have your build from Steam right here in Microsoft. So that is how to do it from Microsoft to Steam and from Steam to Microsoft. I hope that this video was helpful and informative, and I hope to see you in another video. Have a good one.